place of parents and students. I'm not late. I just make sure everybody gets here before I go live because then it gets a little bit awkward. Hi, everybody. I did not forget. I'll go back. Let me look at some of these comments here. Um, okay. Oh, and look. Other Mr. Cornell is calling right now asking where we are. Now, just so that you guys know, there's a little bit of delay between how I see uh, your comments and um, when they come through on my computer. So I'll make sure I try to get to all the questions you guys have. But um, for you know, you asking me any questions on Google Classroom or where to find codes and all that stuff, let me run through it all first, and then we can go back and answer any of the questions that you guys have. Oh, hi Kim. Hi staff. Derek, bonjour, Gerardo. You guys missing school yet? I know I am. My kids say that they do more work at home than they do actually in school. Hi, Wilfredo. I see you in there. Stand here. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, hey, Lynn. You're late. No, I was just making sure everybody got here before I signed on. 50, did you get Izzy to get on here? <laughs> I'm <See>? bored. <laughs> School needs to open up. All right, so guys, before we get started, um, for my guys, I don't know if the high school people know or not, um, most teachers are going to be using Google Classroom. I would say probably all of them, but that might not be the case, but most of them will be. They have until Thursday to set them up. So I know some of my students were asking um, how we get all of the teachers' codes, and the truth is that a lot of teachers have their codes up already, but some of them don't, and they will by Thursday, and you know more about how they get them. Hey, Danilo. All right, so let's just jump right into this and answer any of the questions that you guys are going to have. I'm sure a whole bunch are going to pop up throughout the um, the little tutorial here. I'm just going to go through all of it before I jump to any of those questions. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using Google Chrome. That's the best one to use when you're using the Google Classroom or the Google Accounts. It just works a little better without any bugs. There are, there is, there are apps you can get. So if you go to the App Store and um, look at, uh, just kind of type in Google Docs or Google Drive, you could put all of that onto your phone. And there is also an app for Google Classroom where you can join it on your phone as well. So you don't have to just do it on the computer. It's perfectly fine and works perfect from your phone as well. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is we're going to open, you're going to go drive.google.com. Then you're going to go ahead and sign into your account. So everyone's account is the same. It's going to be your ID number and your last name at centralislip.k12.ny.us. Okay. The only time I've seen this get a little tricky, and I won't really, I won't be able to answer this question for you, is the last name part. Because I know some of some people have maybe two last names, or some people have a last name with a hyphen between. Uh, you're just gonna have to maybe play around with it a little bit. And if you really can't get it, you can call the school up, and they might be able to tell you uh, which maybe last name they have because sometimes they use it in, in a certain other. order. Yeah. Um, your password is year, month, day. So if you were born, here's an example, uh, July 12th of 2005, it would have to be 20050712. So make sure that you have eight numbers there. Again, double check your spelling. If you have all central islip dot k12 dot ny dot us. Once you sign in, it's going to bring you to the, uh, the Google Drive. And there is going to be a, a tab that you're going to hit. And yes, I'm going to do this live for you to see, but I'm just walking through this here. And there's going to be a tab that you're going to hit, and that's going to go to Classroom. Then once you go to Classroom, it's going to ask you for your teacher code. 
Now, here's an example of what the teacher codes look like. Where are you going to get the codes from? In, in the next couple of days, uh, you're going to get a call from the school saying that if you go to the district website, uh, cischools.org, they're going to have a, a file or something or something that you could click on that has all of the teachers with their codes. So that's how you're going to find your code, and it's going to look something like that there. And you would add that code into your classroom, and then you'll have everything there. So let me walk you through all this so that you can see exactly how it's going to go. And then any questions from there, um, we will go through. Okay? Hannah, Hi, Hannah, it was on the 21st. She had the best birthday ever. <laughs> no okay. family. No gifts. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, so again, the get the best one to do if you're using from your computer is, is Chrome. Drive uh, dot Google dot com. So I have a, a student account here that I'll, I'll be able to to help you. So you'll see exactly what it'll look like on your account as well. So again, it's ID number, last name at centralislip dot k twelve dot ny dot us. So I'll put that in there, and then the password again. The full year, four numbers, two numbers for the month, two numbers for the day. And then when you hit next, uh, I had already kind of went in here once already, but when you go to go in here, it's going to say, do you accept the terms or agreements? And you hit, yes, I accept. And this is what your drive is going to look like. You may have some files in here. You may not. It may look just like this. It, it depends on whether or not teachers had assigned any work yet, and I'll get to that in a second. So up here is, is where I was talking about where you're going to find Google Classroom. So if you click on here, right there, that's where it says Classroom. So when you go there, it's going to take you to the Google Classroom, and any teachers that may have already set you up in there, it may be there, so you can see there's one for this student here, and, and she could click on there and be able to um, see that that teachers work and you can always hit join a class as I was saying earlier so if I hit plus and it's gonna say class code again the class codes are going to go up on the district website uh, hopefully in the next few days by the end of the week but you will get a call home so I have an example here of a, of a code can I give them mine? Right, you can I'll do that in a little bit uh, so I put that code in, I hit join, and then there it is. Okay, so this was, was my code, and whatever assignments are there would be posted. There's like a little message board right here. Uh, I just put an in information for my students that say uh, all of your information can be found on our class website. But other teachers are going to be doing different things. Um, the, I can put in, just for fun here, you don't have your Wait, code. Wait, I do here. Hold on. Another code here. If Mrs. Cornell has one, here. just read T, it. T mm -hmm. three H L U Y F. Sorry, Kimberly. You're running another class. We can't see your comments right now, by the way. No, I don't put in. You don't need your my code, Hannah. Don't worry about my Wilfredo. Um, so here is a point. Here is Mrs. Cornell's um, Google Classroom. Okay, there is her family, her beautiful husband, <laughs> and. And she again put some some things on hers. She's got some message board. You'll be able to comment when your teacher does do them. Uh, any assignments that she posts will go to here. And just so my students know, I'm not putting due dates on anything, but you can expect everything to come in like a two week block. So I am not expecting you guys to do this all at once, but um, you know, space it out, maybe a couple things each day, and then in another two weeks, should we still be home? I'll put more stuff up, but you guys can kind of just go as you as you'd like, and a lot of it's review. All right, so now here's here's a um, 
what you're really going to want to know for a lot of the assignments that your teachers are going to post. So some of them might have you go to different websites to complete some different things, or some of them might actually have you be doing things or, or typing things out. So if they, one of Mrs. Cornell's assignments was she put a, a worksheet on that she wants the students to fill out. If you go to your drive, once you're all set up and you're in, and you click on classroom, they're going to have folders for each one of your classes. And then when you go into those folders, there could be uh, files that are in there that, that those are where you're going to find the files or you're going to put files that the teachers will be able to see um, and, and, and grade from there. Codes will be on the district website by Thursday. Mm, maybe. maybe. I'm, the this teachers week, will have them in by Thursday. This week, or you'll be hearing from some teachers. Uh, let me see if I can pull up one of those drive things. But for now, you. if you are, um, if you have your teacher on remind, you can ask them for their code ahead of time because if they're on remind and they have their codes up, they can give it to you that way also. Okay. So here, and and that's the other thing too. Google's pretty good. You can do these YouTube videos on how to use different things. But there are ways that you can you can see as I'm popping it up, it's popping up. Um, when you turn it in, you hit the button, and uh, you'll see if I click on this. This was the assignment that Mrs. Cornell had. If you click on that, it it'll bring it up for you. And some of them will be in Word, or some of them could be in uh, in doc files. So it all depends on how the teacher sets it up. But for the most part, everyone just um, make sure that you can get your Google Classroom set up or your Google account set up so that you can at least start getting some work and doing some work and some of your boredom could get uh, heard by doing some work. Okay, so I'll go through, see if anybody has any more questions. So if you have any more questions, uh, the video will stay up. Somebody asked that when we're going back to school right now, um, they're saying April 1st, but that is definitely subject to change, so. We're going to go on April 1st for now. Okay, so if any of my students are here, again, don't worry about the code. Um, definitely set up a Google Classroom because I'm going to have some more things coming uh, your way in terms of different things that we might be able to do now with them. The, you know, that's, that's your rundown about how you're going to be setting up your Google account. Okay, so again, before you get too crazy that you can't do it, Double check that you have the right ID number, that the last name is, and you spe spelt it right at Central Islip K12 NYUS, year, month, day. Justin, were you able to get on when you called the school? You're welcome, Kaylee. Any of my guys that are on there right now, you guys do have a lot of work, either on Castle Learning, Delta Math, or there's some quizzes to do, uh, depending on which class you're on, on the website. Okay, Justin said yeah. Um, and my guys, for the Quizlets, there are multiple activities. It's not just the flashcards, and I want you to go through each of them until you're pretty comfortable with all of that. And it is a review. It's going to be two vocabulary um, Quizlets and two grammar Quizlets. And with it, there will be a project that goes with those four things every two weeks. Yes, the video will stay up um, it, throughout. You know, I'm not going to take it down at all. So if you, if you go YouTube, to, the, to the YouTube channel, you'll see that one of them will say Google Classroom, and you'll be able to follow along with me as I go. There's a possibility we won't go back. I don't know. Who knows? That we can't answer, Gerardo. We don't know. You mentioned all teachers. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. About I mean, yeah. all, you know, all teachers may or may not. I mean, like I said, I'm not really using Google Classroom myself. I have a, a website that I had been using for the entire year. So I just kind of set up a classroom and just said, go to cimath.com. Uh, could a gym teacher set one up with some work to do? Absolutely. You know, I have no idea. Each what other teacher, are doing. yeah, they each have they each have their own. Um, they can do whatever really they need to do to get you guys the work. But from what I'm hearing, I'm talking with a lot of the read teachers. I think read teachers almost everyone I've talked to so far is 
using Google Classroom in addition to some of them are going to be on Zoom, some of them are going to be doing other things. Um, so for now, I'm sticking with putting the YouTube tutorials up. I'm going to start putting up little refreshers for you guys to do. If it's going to, if we're not going to go back April 1st, things might change where we might have to um, do something more like this. Hannah, for you right now, Unit 10 test is up there that you're going to be getting ready to, that you should start and do right now. Uh, we have a website for Jim. What are, <laughs> you guys, I have no idea what other... Uh, we could give you Jim. If you guys want things to do, we will let you know. Today we did Go have a, a very good Jim <laughs> class. Uh, I did send a picture out to some of my kids on Remind. Uh, I, I have no idea what other teachers are doing. I have none. I know that some teachers, many teachers are setting up Google Classroom. So many teachers will have that. What other teachers are doing, I have no idea. But I know that you will be getting a call saying to check the district website where uh, everybody you'll see will codes. have to have something. Uh, you'll you. see codes or you'll see something for, you know, for people to do. Kayleen Tech, I'm not sure. I, I, I imagine it's going to be something like this where you guys are going to have assignments to do. I don't think you're going to have to build a car at home, I'm hoping. Um, uh, how do you delete a class from Google Classroom? Good question. Uh, I've never deleted. Let's go to Kimberly's one since she doesn't need Mrs. Cornell's. Let's see if I can see, do that quick. Um, I just wanted to tell my guys, um, there was a confusion with the project that we had, the New Faison Voyage. It's up there now in both a Google document and also a Word document, and it's just going to be more user-friendly if you use the Google document. You're going to be able to write directly on there and just send it to me, whereas I think the other one, what we were saying with the Word document, would be more difficult for them. Yeah. Uh, just to get back, how do you get rid of a classroom? Or if you did, if you just click the, the dots there and hit unenroll, uh, that takes you out. So, Kimberly, you're not in that anymore. And Stephanie, you're in? Good job. Yes, I'm getting very popular with Wilfredo on this. Please tell your friends, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, <laughs> write like, whatever it is that you, you guys do. Can a math teacher become famous on YouTube? <laughs> All right, so we'll wait a couple more minutes. If anybody has any more questions, please uh, let us know. Yes. <laughs> do we finish the yes. quiz set? Yep. Yes. Except for the games. You don't have to do the games, but I encourage you to if you'd like. Speaking of, I'm all, again, I'm not going to speak for any other teacher. We're not going to speak for any, of what I, any other person is doing in the district. Speaking for myself, and I know for Mrs. Cornell. So we're, you know, we've been spending a lot of time trying to set everything up for you guys, trying to make it as easy as possible to either get on or get work or to do something. Um, there's still the third and fourth quarter left in the year. You can't just erase it and make it go to nothing. So you are, at least for, I'm speaking for myself, I don't know, Mrs. Cornell's doing the same, the work that we are assigning, you're going to be accountable for. I'm not putting hard due <laughs> dates on things. Um... I'm not putting hard due dates on things, but I'm not going to leave it open there forever. So, you know, you have a couple of weeks to do that. Um, Kayleen, the tests that were canceled for the year were the state tests, not the regents exams. From yeah. the last that I heard about, it was just the um, eighth grade assessments. Um, but again, I don't want to comment. I, it's just such an ever-changing thing because, as you guys know, things are changing daily. So right now, all we know is that April 1st, we'll be back in school. This is the work until the meantime. Every teacher is going to have their own system of how they're going to get you guys work, and it'll all be figured out by next week. And if um, you don't have a Google code for a teacher, they might not be using Google Classroom. You can call the school and find out. Um, some teachers are making packets to be picked up or um, sent online, too. So that that's also another avenue. Uh, so, Brenna, real quick, if you just go to deltamath.com and then – Use the code that I sent you if you forgot to go to cimath.com. Create any account. It doesn't have to be with this Google account with your email. And then just take the work, uh, use the work that's on there. And there's also work on cimath.com that you have to do as well. 
uh, what's the class code? Uh, <laughs> Delta <laughs> math. Uh, Delta math. Just go to cimath.com. You'll see my code on uh, on the homepage there. Cla <laughs> class code for Google for me. Don't worry about it. Kevin, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds awful. The most entertaining thing he's seen all week. <laughs> oh, and David's here. And David's late, but David's usually late. But that's for a morning class. This is nighttime. I figured you'd be here right on time, David. You don't have lives. On the week. You don't have live. What about during the week? No for Google Classroom. Don't worry about Google Classroom for me. That's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You'll, you're still going to need a Google account for your other classes, I'm sure. And maybe I will do something for Google. I don't know. But right now, I have everything on cimath.com. We're pretty much all done with Unit 12 probability. Next week, we're going to be going into Unit 11. So you have a Unit 10 test that you have to take that's up now. That'll be closed soon. You have a Delta Math <laughs> that you have to go on and get finished. You have a Unit 12 test that's going to go this week. Uh, that'll be due over the weekend, so you have a lot of stuff to either do or catch up on. Is that my vow? Yes, technically we're done. The dab master? What's the code for the French class? The most important person here. It I don't know It must be yet. my vow, I think. Uh, the code for my class is... Oh. Do you have it still? Go ahead, go. Uh, T3 H L. U Y F. That's the French code. Technically, mine's down there. Are you guys all practicing social distancing? I really need to know. Saturday and Sunday to keep us entertained. Well, if you guys all the French class. If you guys all subscribing, and I have lots and lots of followers, then we'll totally start doing these vlog things. Yes, to Davy Jones, please join the French class. No, because no. Davy Jones hasn't done any of his math work yet, Aww. so he, the last thing he needs is more French work. Davy, if you do all your math work, you can join French. Uh, I'll text you in the morning. I'll probably do that one. I'll pro I'm going to probably go live a little bit later tomorrow. Thank you, Kayleen and Derek. Good job. Six feet away from one another. Well, if you took 53 laps last week, that's that's good. That means you weren't that's social any, distancing. Yeah, not around <laughs> anybody. It is so hard. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have capitals or not. Kind of miss school. That means you really miss school if you kind of miss it. We really miss school. Mm -hmm. We are homeschooling three small children and trying to uh, teach you guys. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. A lot going on here. Being an elementary school teacher is not fun. No. You have to do math and then you have to do Spanish and then you have to do science and, and you gym have to do and studies, art and gym and art and music. Yeah, I don't like homeschooling either. <laughs> Are there any more questions on how to join? Was this helpful? Did you guys already know this stuff? Screenshot it. Send me a picture, Davy. Well, that's just weird calling you Davy, David. And can you guys also please let other people know that aren't yet in the know that this is going to be happening? Oh, Val, you hate school. Um, well, on CI math, Isaiah, you have, you have two things you have to do. One is Delta math, and one is castle learning. Il ne parle pas français, Monsieur Cornell, non. Il essaie oui? un peu. That means yes. <laughs> so that's French, so technically, yes, I spoke French. <laughs> Who is that? Who? The gaming one. What? Do you know that person? This one. Venos Gaming? Yeah. No, I don't know. We might not know. It could be mm -hmm. random people that just join in. 
Oh, like from Australia or something? Because you're like, a, you're yeah. a YouTuber now? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Cornell sarcastic? How can I upload a picture to Google Classroom? Does anybody hear our children screaming? Just wondering. Can you hear them? I'm going to close the door. Because <laughs> if you hear them screaming, you can close the door. <laughs> Val, what's Google Classroom? Val, you're going to have to watch this on, uh, on review. Um, but Val, the, when you go to Google Classroom and you're going to rewatch this and you're going to, um, this is the French code that's up on the screen. That's the code that you need to join my classroom and all of your work will be on there. I don't know how Conacher is going to be giving you guys math class. I'm art class, but um, all teachers will have some something. Steph is in. Steph, will you help Val join? School is not good. <laughs> Do you guys, I, I mean, I would think that you would appreciate school more now being home. Uh, Dave, remember we were going over this before. You have either bounce back or go throughs. Remember if you bounce back at a root, say that's at negative two then that factors to x plus 2, but since it bounced back, it has to be an even exponent, so you know you're squared. And then if it goes through, you know that you're in odd, so say this one was at 3, so that's at x equals positive 3, that's x minus 3, and it would be an odd exponent. Who wrote you an email 15 or 20 minutes ago? Because that's who Venos Gaming is. Oh, Rolando? Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Yeah, Ronaldo did. Are we right? I can make you guys famous. This is great. <laughs> open the door. Can I miss anything else or no? Mm, no. Anything else, guys? Any other questions about how to join? Google Classroom. Don't forget. Don't forget what? David said I'll do it later. Yeah, do it now. Well, it's fresh in your head. Are all my guys on? Gerardo, did you join? Steph is going to help Val. I don't know what this button does. Go on, I'm doing it. Studio YouTube. Oh, that's where I'm famous. I might have to sign in now. No. Uh, I'm going to be insane. Well, hopefully then you'll be very smart since you're doing nothing, but watching all of my lives and then doing your work. All right, I think we're calling it quits here. So hopefully you found the video helpful. If you can, if you have any more questions or you're lost, you could always leave a comment. Don't forget, if you like the video, hit like, hit that follow button down below to subscribe. And we, David, I can speak Francais. <laughs> Anything yeah. else? We miss you guys. And we know you miss us too. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>